everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five items that I think every woman should toss from her closet right now. Like, stop watching this video the second it's over, and get in that closet, get rid of these five things. All right, here we go. First thing I want you to toss from your closet is anything that is ill-fitting, okay? Now, fit is everything when it comes to style. If it fits you funky, you're not gonna look good. The, outfit, the uh, outfit's gonna look cheap, it's gonna look, you're gonna look too big, or you're just gonna look freaking weird. Like, if it doesn't fit, you look weird, okay? So anything that's not fitting properly, get it gone. Either get it to the tailor, or get it to the donation truck. So here's the thing that I see a lot of women doing, and I'm even guilty of this as well, and when I see myself doing it, I'm like, stop keeping items that don't fit as these like test pieces for weight loss, okay? So you'll keep in like a too small pair of jeans, and then you'll go back and be like, oh, I ate healthy for three days, let me put them back on and see if they fit. And you're like, no, they still don't fit, this is torture. And you hate yourself and you hate the jeans, but you put them right back in the closet. So, so many women have multiple pieces that are like that, and all of those things need to go. Items that are too big, too long, that are itching to go to the tailor, immediately get them out of your closet, put them in a bag to go to the tailor, um, have a tailor come to your house, whatever you need to do to get your clothing fitting right, do that and get rid of the stuff that doesn't fit. It's literally just torture. Like I have a dress and I'm finally getting rid of it. It's this Dolce & Gabbana dress. I've had it for about a million years. I never have anywhere to wear it. Even when I bought it, it flattened out my boobs and I didn't care and now you know, you should get your bra size checked like every year, by the way. Uh, my, my boobs, they're changing. I'm an older lady now. And the dress just doesn't fit right. And I'm finally gonna get rid of it because I'm sick of the torture. So ill-fitting clothes is the first thing to go. Second thing to toss from your closet is anything that is not you, okay? I want all of you to spend a considerable amount of time figuring out who you are in relation to your personal style. Like, what is your style saying about you? Is that an accurate representation of who you are? So if you're hanging on to clothes that don't really fit your style type or you know, your goals and like what you're doing in your life, that needs to go. So, you know, as we progress in our wardrobes, we just start collecting things. And you'll have things in your closet that you had, you know, when you were in college and you were a completely different person in college than who you are right now. So keeping that in your closet just because it's still good or maybe you'll wear it if, that stuff just needs to go. I don't like to keep stuff in my orbit that isn't aligned with the person that I am today. So anything that's not you, get it gone. Like for me, anything that's overly girly, frilly, florally, I'm not gonna wear that, it's not me. So it's gots to go, okay? Third thing I want you to get rid of in your closet are expensive items that you don't wear. Oh my gosh, I see this happen all the time. I've been guilty of it in the past, so I totally get where you're coming from. You go out, you splurge on this piece. It could be a dress, it could be a pair of shoes, it could be anything. You really splurged, it's a designer label, but you just can't seem to wear it. It just, it either doesn't fit right, or for whatever reason, you're not wearing it. It's gotta go, it's gotta go. It's only torturing you. Just like the ill-fitting clothes are, t are torturing you because they don't fit anymore, the expensive clothes are torturing you because you remember just how much money you spent on that item and you look past it every day in your closet thinking, ah, I paid $500 for that and I still don't wear it, but I'm not gonna throw it away because I spent $500 on it. Get it out of there. You can consign it and at least recoup some of your money, okay? 
you're probably not gonna get what you paid for it, whatever, like shit happens, we make mistakes. I have a pair of shoes in my closet that I'm also getting rid of in addition to that dress. I bought a pair of Alaya like platform shoes. They're like the highest heel on earth. I think I've wore them twice and they're just, I can't walk in them. <laughs> they don't fit my style, but they were expensive. They were Alaya and I've had a hard time getting rid of them. But if I put them you know, for sale on luxury garage sale, I can probably get a couple hundred dollars back and put that towards another expensive shoe that I actually will wear. The shoes on my feet right now, I've wore these like a million times. This was an expensive purchase that was worth every penny. They're totally like about to be done with. They're cracking and I've gotten a lot of use out of them. But I imagine the expensive items that you're not wearing, if you put that money you know, if you sold them and put that money towards something you will wear, then it's not a waste anymore. So just don't, don't do it. The fourth item I want you to get rid of from your closet are any items from an ex. Okay. Now if you love the piece and you wear it all the time, like whatever, just keep it. But during one of my more recent closet cleanses, I was noticing that everything that I was getting rid of was attached to a period of time that was not that happy. <laughs> you know, it was like attached to an ex-boyfriend and it had a lot of memories attached to it. And getting rid of that really helped clear space energetically and just physical space in my closet. But I was noticing that these pieces were things that I was like, oh, I didn't actually really pick this. He picked this because he thought I should have it and I didn't really like it. Like there was a lot of just stuff attached to those pieces. So if you're holding on to anything, it doesn't have to be related to an ex, it could just be related to a person that was in your life that is no longer in your life. Look at the attachment and the memories with those clothes. And if it's bad, get them out of there. It's time to like fill the closet with happier things and happier memories, so gone. And the final thing I want you to get rid of from your closet is anything that doesn't support the future you, the journey that you're going on. So I really work with my clients a lot on goal setting and style. I fully believe and have proof aplenty that style can help get you to where you want to go in life. So I'm always looking at you know, where I am now and making sure what I have represents just who I am as a person, but I also think about where I'm going. Are the choices that I'm making while I'm shopping and the things I'm keeping in my closet, are those going to be useful for the woman that I want to be a year from now, you know, three years from now, especially when it comes to investment pieces? So I really think about that. Can I wear these pants in a way that supports Lauren right now? Which I can, a little fun, a little edgy with the leather, with the necklace. But can these pants also carry me forward to future Lauren who might be meeting with a publisher for you know my next book and I need to be a little more polished? Yes, I could wear this with a blazer and like do it in a whole polished professional way. So this piece would support both of those things. Now if I looked in my closet at say, um, a pair of jeans that was like shredded from thigh to ankle, they might do me okay a little bit longer right now, but they're not gonna support my future self. So that's something that I would at least consider getting rid of. Maybe it wouldn't be getting rid of it in this closet cleanse, um, but it might be like right on the border of the toss list. And most of the time, the pieces that are on the border of need to go right now, I just get rid of them because I know that I'd rather be living closer to my future self than my current self because I'm constantly wanting to grow and improve. So those are the five things to toss from your closet. I highly suggest getting in that closet, taking a look around and doing a purge. You always feel so much better.
after you get rid of things from your closet, especially if you get to donate them to someone or give them to a friend or make a few bucks off of them from consignment. Whatever you end up doing with your clothes, just get them out of your space and into somebody else's. So that was today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to scroll down below this video to scoop up any of my amazing style freebies. Also subscribe to my channel because I have new videos popping up on the channel all the time. They're filled with useful information. So get your subscribe on and I'll catch you in the next video.